we are on the southern perimeter of Selfridge Air Base. We off-road in here. You got these like two fuel things here. It's uh, Saturday, July 9th. It's about 1 p.m. Selfridge Air Base in Harrison uh, Township, Michigan, I believe. And uh, they have a open base, open house here, uh, July 9th and July 10th. They have a show, an air show, with the F-22s at 2 p.m., so that's in about an hour. And uh, the park's pretty far away, but we're almost there. Walked about a quarter mile through the field till we made it to the security checkpoint and into the area with the aircraft on display. We have a variety of different jets and propeller powered planes parked out on the runway for you to check out. A lot of them you can like walk right up to them and touch them like some of them you can even like walk through them like there is a line to take a walk through the uh, H-130 Hercules or you could walk through the Chinook helicopter. You could go into uh, the B-17 bomber. A lot of interesting stuff. All right, walking over here to the right side of the entrance, and in the foreground we have an F-14 Tomcat. In the background we have a Boeing C-17 Globemaster III. In the uh, area with the static uh, aircraft displays, the uh, planes that aren't going to be moving. Here's the camera girl, Molly. As we uh, let ourselves through the uh, aircraft displays of the static air show, the actual air show was going on and off in the distance. Uh, there's a huge group of people back there. They're Let's coming back around. They have an announcer calling out different formations, different simulations, the type of aircraft, the pilots. A lot of different information. It was pretty interesting, but you couldn't really hear that from where we were. You'd have to walk down past where all those hangars are. Uh, pretty interesting, though. We didn't really okay. sit around and watch the actual air show, uh, but we did check out a lot of the aircraft and a lot of the displays. There's a lot of interesting displays to check out. I was able to figure out the type of aircraft this is just based off uh, taking the name on the side of the plane and the uh, unit it's involved in. And yeah, that's a Boeing C-17 Globemaster III. That one's name is the Sentinel from the New York National Guard. And uh, yeah, they have that on display here. There's a line if you want to take a tour, you want to walk through the jet. I'm glad I recorded this content in uh, 4K 60 frames because there, there's a lot of cool flybys coming up in this video. Got the F-22s, the F-18s, the A-10s. Uh, they got even the C-130 fly, flying by doing a bunch of different uh, uh, simulations or whatnot. It's pretty cool. This is another F-14. Uh, I looked up F-14 Lancer and uh, this is apparently a special edition of the F-14, but I didn't find too much more information on it. Oh, if I'm not mistaken, I believe this one is an F-14. Mm, just a guess. 
These four aircraft on the right are F-16 Fighting Falcons. They're part of the Colorado Colorado's Mile High Militia. These were transferred from Colorado's Air National Guards, 120th Fighter Squadron, 140th Wing, to an air base in the south of Spain in October of 2021. Later that month, those planes were to be deployed in the Middle East. Uh, they're back, uh, I guess they're uh, back in the Detroit area now, so I'm not sure what happened with them. Firing up one of those jets over there. They were firing up another aircraft, getting ready, uh, it's getting ready to take off on the runway to probably be the next aircraft out on display. Here's another shot of the Colorado's uh, Mile High Militia F-16Cs. Yeah, like I was saying, it's pretty crazy. You can walk up and just you can walk up to these jets and touch them and stuff. Almost see into the cockpit. Is this titanium? It's pretty awesome. Pretty freaking cool. Mile High Militia, Colorado. Pretty awesome vehicles here. bird is a b-17 believe it's a bomber dang this is awesome how they keep it like polished to a mirror finish is incredible not even a fingerprint on this b-17g <laughs> don't you Uh, Boeing uh, B-17G. I'm not sure what aircraft this dark gray one is, but it looks like another F-14. So we'll just say it's an F-14. Question mark. How cool is that? Jettison fuel. Pretty dang cool in here. Here is Leo. All right. It's pretty crazy. Now this plane, this is the A-10 uh, tank killer. Awesome. 
It was an F-35 right there. It's two F-35s. It's like a billion dollars right there. There's a chain gun system on the uh, A-10 over here. This is the uh, ammo deli delivery system. Look at the size of that Gatling gun on the front. Unbelievable. The weapon system on the uh, Warthog is uh, GAU-8 Avenger 30mm hydraulically driven 7 barrel Gatling type cannon. It's not, it doesn't even shoot bullets basically. It's, the bullets are literally like a foot long. It's pretty gross. This was the coolest display at the event in my opinion. Uh, Sulphur Deer Base is known for its uh, squadron of the A-10 uh, Warthog tank killers, so they had to have a cool setup for them. Chinook uh, helicopter over here. Coast Guard and stuff over there. Oh, here comes the uh, flight demonstration. Oh, this is a refueling simulation with the C 130 and the four A10s. They're breaking formation there. You can see the other four uh, A10s breaking off of the C 135. Damn, that's cool. Wow, all these hydraulics, this is crazy. Is this a release this? Will we clean it up? this up. Big stuff inside. I know. As our A-10s taxi in, what a what an awesome display. Never been to an airshow. But they have Budweiser here, so sorry, Keto. We're getting up here today. How could I not resist? All these A-10s, these F-35s and shit. Gotta have a beer. Can't resist. First beer in 26 days. It's fucking as damn good as I remember. It's beautiful. It's got a tear in my eye. Two F-35s over here. I believe that's a Spitfire. This one looks like a Cessna of some sort. There's a Harrier down there, I believe. There's an F-14, an F-16, an F-18. This is your A-10. Cheers. These are those four jets that uh, I just... Uh, we're just pulling out of the uh, launch area. So cool.
beautiful aircraft. C-17 doing a 300 knot flyby. The C-17 is powered by four Pratt & Whitney F-117 engines. These are the same engines used on the Boeing 757. Each engine delivers over 40,000 pounds of thrust. This amount of thrust allows the Globemaster III to carry over 170,000 pounds of cargo. The range of the C-17 with this amount of cargo is 2,400 nautical miles. However, the C-17 can reach anywhere in the world non-stop using its air refueling capabilities. The C-17 was demonstrating its uh, short distance landing. They're saying it could land in less than 1,500 feet using its uh, engines in reverse. That C-17 is a sweet motherfucking airplane. This F-18 was basically invisible on my screen. Uh, yeah, with my uh, polarized sunglasses and the bright sun, I could barely see anything. Not to mention it was so far away, you could barely see it without being so zoomed in. But this plane was doing some amazing maneuvers, so uh, what I captured was actually pretty cool.
The F-22 Raptor is about to start pulling its maneuvers, but uh, my guests are ready to go, so I captured the last few shots on our way out, and uh, I got a couple uh, good ones in the parking lot. And actually, while we were driving home, uh, there were some amazing shots over the freeway. Like The jet was like flying over uh, the neighborhoods and stuff. It was pretty awesome. Guys, thanks for checking out my vlog about the Selfridge Air Force Base and their open house. Uh, thanks again for watching. If you liked the video, please uh, like and subscribe. I have a video of these flying around in the desert in Nevada. Yeah, here comes that F-22 again. Uh, yeah, they were doing some really cool maneuvers even outside the base. Uh, and yeah, even while we were in the car, the car was shaking like very powerful uh, vehicle. But, any, but anyways, uh, thanks again for watching and uh, wish I could have captured some more shots of this F-22 maneuvers. But uh, yep, uh, tune in again for more content. All right, thanks again.